today I'm going to show you around my home office. So I'm sure there's people that have bigger offices than mine, smaller offices than mine. This is just what I have and I'll show you the lighting that I have, the stands that I use. Um, and maybe you'll get some good ideas for your home studio if you don't already have these items, of course. So one of the first items I got was a tree lamp and I had watched another YouTuber called Gillian Perkins and she had a really great office, really great pieces and I was really inspired by her tree lamp. So I also got a tree lamp and I, I found it very useful because you can move the lighting around. So you can like point it at the ceiling, right? Get some reflection coming down on you. You could point it directly at you um, at the sidewall. They're very mobile. So we've got like five, it's like a one, two, three, four, five, five headed lamp. That's been really, really useful. I also have one of these. This came in a box and I'll actually show you the box in a second. It's like, it's not plugged in right now, but you have a little, do, 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 kind of little remote thingy here and you can change it to be different colors. So if you have like a really dark office, dark background and you like turn off all the lights and you have like a ring light facing on you, you can have this face the wall behind you and show like a red color or green color or purple color, blue. It has all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. And so that's been really useful, but it also does like a warm light and like the bright white light. If you prefer this over like the ring lights. I also have a ring light, okay, and it's on right now, so hopefully we're not getting blinded here by it. Um, and this can change to a couple different settings. And I usually just only use this one, really. <laughs> it's worked out fine. But you can, like, turn it around. Um, so that's been really nice. Now, I will show you the box that I got. Bauer 2-Pack Creator Light Kit. This is the one that I bought. And... Um, now it's USB powered. So what that means is it doesn't come with this, how like we normally have it, right? Um, and when that, and honestly, that was a little bit annoying. So what you do need is something like this, like this one right here on my desk is plugged into this thing. So it'll only come with this. So you just have to plug it into something like this. And this one says adaptive fast charging. So that's been really useful. It is a Samsung brand. I'll see if I can put it in the description box. And then there you just put in the USB. So that was a little bit of a, you know, surprise. I was like, what? There's no electrical outlet thingy? Whatever you call those things, a plug in these thingies. I don't know. <laughs> so one thing that I've used, and this is my most recent thing, is this. Like my husband ordered these for his use. And I'm like, Ooh, these are really handy. And he had bought two, so one's for me. Now, this one is a stand Lammy Call or Lammy Call Share Simple Life is what it says. This is normally for like tablets. I use it for the phone. So I literally stand it up like, I'll just like set it right here and it'll like kind of pop up over here. And so the camera will pop up over that little edge. And so I can still film if I'm like, wanting the camera to face that way or towards me if I'm like doing some cooking recipe or something. So that's really handy. So one of these. So you can like move it like this or like this. So really just depending what you want. So it goes very, it's just really handy. Um, I will say that um, for most of the time when I've needed a stand, because this one was recent, right? This is what I normally use. Because a lot of times I was like, oh my gosh, my phone's out of battery practically. So I needed to charge while still filming. So I literally sat on here. It's kind of like a chair for the phone. And this one, what brand is it? UBO Labs. I'll see if I can, um, UBO Labs. I'll see if I can, yeah, put it in the description box. And that one, of course, does have like a plug-in. So you could just put it into the wall, which is handy rather than like a USB charger. <laughs> so that's what I've used to like sit on the countertop and like film myself. So one thing that I do have, and I, I'll show you this, but I won't recommend it because I haven't loved it. It's been useful, but I haven't loved it. And I don't want to ever share something where everything is great that I have. Um, I will be honest <laughs> in my um, reviews. So I do have this. It's a little ring light. I've 
only, I think, once used it as a ring light. I use it mostly for this little guy here, which holds the phone. The grip is really, really good. I have to, like, yank it from it. Um, so the, the tight grip is good. And you can, like, bend this a little bit, like, bend the head. Um, but the base is the problem. Um, it's not sturdy. It's really lightweight. So... If there's a movement on your desk and this is sitting on your desk, it'll like jostle. And you can't have like this moving when you're filming. So I, um, this is a Viv Vivitar, okay, it's backwards here. Uh, it's a Vivitar brand. Um, it's for a desk use, of course. Um, but honestly, it's been really difficult to use. And there's been times where I'm like holding with one hand the base this little circle thing here, just to make sure it's sturdy as it's holding the phone. So the whole point of getting one of these to hold your phone is so that you don't have to be holding it. So you want it to be sturdy on its own without you helping it. So I would not recommend this guy. It, but see, if, you're, if your budget is limited, then you just have to kind of weigh the balances. That was about $5.99 or $9.99. Like it was really inexpensive, but you do pay what you, you get what you pay for, I guess is the the famous phrase, right? Um that has been a little bit of a pickle. So um just yeah, whatever you guys need, right? But um here is my other tree lamp. I literally got this one and the one I showed you earlier, this one on Craigslist. Craigslist. One was 15 the other was like 12 I think so really inexpensive I'm trying to remember like it was one for sure 12 I thought one had the five in it so was it 15 or five dollars I don't remember there is a previous YouTube video like one of my early early videos when I like where I mentioned the price on them but the point is I got them on Craigslist so this was not new I was trying to scrap it you know like being scrappy with the budget like trying to make it go as far, far as it could and so with this one it looks nice it looks ritzy um, and it might have originally been pricey, but I got it used. <laughs> I'm like, whatever to make it so I can film, right? So I put bulbs in here, but they're like the white kind. So if you want warm light, then do the warmer um, light bulbs. If you want the white lights, I mean, just get whatever bulb you need from the bulb aisle at Walmart. Um, but I really like the white light because, I mean, that's what we have here. Like you have the ring light, right? and you want it to be bright. And so I put really good bulbs in there. Um, so these are the things that I use. I do have over here um, a little chair area and um, I do move these around. Like this doesn't always stay in the corner and partially because I need like some artwork here. Most offices have like artwork and they look beautiful and I just, I don't really have an eye for art very well like a not really well-trained eye with art. And so this is under construction. Like this will be fixed shortly, but I'm still thinking what I want to put up there. But in the meantime, I've got a chair, a nice little cushy chair. And guess how much that was? For free. Someone on my street put it on the driveway because they just didn't want it. And they put a free sign on it. Like, I will take that. But actually, funny story. So I was going to Walmart with the kiddos and I'm like, I got to go to Walmart. It was, I had to get something and it was time was of the essence. I'm like, I'm going to get that chair when I get back. If it's still here, I got back and it was already dark and I'm like, Hmm, that chair is so mine. So like we dropped off the Walmart bags in the house and then it came back up the street and stuffed it in the, in the trunk. So I was really grateful to the lady for her free chair. <laughs> so literally free. So look on Craigslist like that. I mean, that was just like pure luck to be totally honest. Um, this one was a chair that my aunt had got and she was so nice to give it to us. Um, cause I think she had a friend that was giving it away. So that was really, really kind of her. <laughs> so that's kind of my office. I have a little file cabinet that I put the printer on. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. And then I have my little white desk. Now this desk I did spend a pretty penny on. It was like 400 and something dollars. Um, that was at weekends only. That is a store brand that's going out of business though. So I will see if I can put some white desks that either I like that would look great in an office if you're like thinking about getting a new desk. Um, sorry, I'm like sick here. I'm like getting a cold. Great, great. Um, so I'll put some description in the description box below some desks I think look really pretty uh, if you're looking for like the white look. I really liked, um, here, let me show you 
the legs of the um, desk. I think it looks really pretty. It just, for some reason, it made me think of like, I don't know, like a French design, just really elegant or maybe English. Like, I don't even know, but I really like how it, it's like fake worn out. You know, how they kind of like make it look antique in a way. Um, so that was really cool. Like that was, that was a splurge, but everything else I've tried to be really like frugal on <laughs> as much as possible. And this is something that I put up a couple years ago. It's blank at the moment, but I literally got these poster boards at the Dollar Tree or no, was it Walmart? No, I think it was Dollar Tree. I think it was Dollar Tree, but Walmart could work too, right? I'll see if I can post it below and for Walmart, but like, so what a dollar each. And I just like taped it basically up to the wall. And so these will be used for ideas, like an idea board, um, videos that I want to post, etc. This was initially like the main reason I put this up here was for a storyboard. I like to write when there is time, you know, um, with all the mayhem of parenting and kids, there's not a ton of time, but I really enjoy writing. And so I put like storyboards that pair initially, uh, for like characters, plots, etc. So that was, that's, kind of how that got started, but I'll be using it now for my YouTube videos. So this is the office craziness. Um, let me know if you have any questions below or um, comments. Let me know. All right. Take care.